Hi, I'm John Packard. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of some unwanted things in your Premiere project using Photoshop to create a mask. To me, this was the easiest method. This is a video I just posted on YouTube, and it's how to make garlic olive oil popcorn. I'll put a link to the video in the comment section. You can see where I uh, got rid of something in the upper right corner here. In this area here, I've already done that one. Um, and now we're going to get rid of this uh, part of this cupboard door and this faucet here. Yeah, this is a flag from one of the lights that I used. So we're going to get rid of these. Uh, we'll start out with the cupboard door on the left. So the first thing we're going to do is take a screen capture here. And we're just going to call this Screenshot 1. And... I'm going to save that to the project folder and say OK. That'll be stored as a JPEG. Now we're going to move over to Photoshop. We're going to import that file. And here's our screen capture. So the first thing we want to do is use the rectangular marquee tool to select the area we'd like to cover up. So I'm going to go about something like that. And then I'll move it over to an area we can use for our mask so we can cover it. That looks good. So now I'm going to do Edit Copy. And then I'm going to paste that to a new file. And it's going to be the size of the clipboard on the area we just copied. And then I'm going to paste into that. Now I'm going to save that as a JPEG file into our project folder again. I'll just call it mask1. Okay, so now we'll go back into Premiere and import that file. So here it is. Now I'm going to take that and insert it into the timeline. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to select mask one. So now we'll just go over to editing and we'll select motion. And the mask is now highlighted so we can move, move it over into position to cover the unwanted area. And that looks pretty good right there. Now, for this next area, it's not a straightforward rectangle we want to cover. It's a triangle. So what I'm going to do with that one, we'll go back into Photoshop. So now I'm going to use the Polygon Lasso tool to outline this area. And then I'm going to move the selection down. And I'm going to copy it to the clipboard and then create a new file based on the size of the clipboard and paste into that area. Now this time I'm going to save that area as a PSD file. And I'm going to call it mask2. Now I'm going to go back over to Premiere and import that file into my Premiere project. So now it's going to ask me if I want to merge all the layers or choose individual layers, which is what I'm doing. So I can deselect the background and just select layer one, which has the information we want. So now I'm going to Put that layer into the timeline right here and select that layer and then go back to editing and select motion and drag that mask 
to cover the area that we want to cover here. That looks pretty good. But it, it looks a little dark in that area, so I'm going to go into the color tab and adjust the brightness. That looks pretty good right there. Uh, I think it might look like it has a little bit too much yellow in it. So I'm going to just adjust the color balance a little bit to make it blend in better. And that looks pretty good. I think I'll go with that. So that's about it. With your eyes on the subject matter here, I'm sure you you won't notice this area has been touched at all. So I think it's a, a big improvement. And that's about it. I hope you found that fairly easy to do and helpful for you. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel.